to Bell Direct. My name is Jessica Amir and today I'm chatting with the Managing Director of Brickworks, Lindsay Partridge. Lindsay, thank you so much for coming in. Pleasure, Jessica. So first up, Lindsay, well done on all your success. BKW, the stock has outperformed the benchmark across all major periods. In fact, over one, three and five years as well. But you have grown from a, just predominantly a brick company to a more diversified business. So for those who aren't familiar with the group, just give us an introduction. Yes, well, it's been quite a journey. Um, in 2000, we were just five factories in two states. And uh, today, and the share price was $4. Today, in 2020, the share price is $20. So it's been amazing. But during that period of time, um, we've grown uh, right across Australia in, in a full range of products. We've expanded to the United States. We've developed a property company and our investments have continued to perform. And just on the US, um, you've significantly scaled up into the world's largest economy, the US. In 2018, you bought one of the nation's largest brick manufacturers and you now have three US brick manufacturers under your belt. So walk us through the rationale behind the entry into the US and what it means for investors. Yeah, well there was a couple of factors there. One, you know, we were already the biggest brick company in Australia. We sold half the bricks uh, in Australia. We couldn't grow anymore. And Australia is a very tough market, but because it's so tough, it made us very good. And we didn't realise really how good we were until we, we got offshore and started having a look around. Uh, and so what we found is we had significant advantages in a number of areas in our production, in our marketing. And uh, to give you an example, the productivity in our factories in Australia is five to ten times better than the productivity in our United States operations. So we went to America, we bought Glengarry. Um, we've got today 16 plants that range from Iowa all across the way to Pennsylvania. We're in the northeast. Our major markets are Boston, New York, Baltimore, Washington, D.C., um, a really large part of the economy there. And in those areas, We've got about two-thirds of our product goes into architectural jobs. We do schools, hospitals, high-rise apartment buildings. So it's quite different to what the other brickmakers are doing in America. And, look, and I think the other thing you've got to consider is the Australian economy and the American economy isn't necessarily always in phase. As we've seen in the last few years, we've had a slow-up in, in, in housing in Australia. But the United States hasn't had any slow-up and it's just continued on. And we saw some very strong numbers come out prior to Christmas. And I think we're going to see another couple of very strong years in the United States. And looking at your earnings and profit, there's quite a lot of heavy, large moving parts to this. So what projects have you got in the mix at the moment? Yes, well, our biggest investment is in Washington H. Salt Patterson. And we made a $26 million investment in 1968. And that investment today is worth in excess of $2 billion. So it's been an excellent investment. Now, a lot of people think of the chemists when you say Washington H. Salt Patterson. But in actual fact, they're, they're diversified. They're in, into mining, they're into telecommunications, besides pharmaceuticals and property development and many other businesses. Uh, they're like a mini Berkshire Hathaway, if you think. And their performance over that period of time has been spectacular, as you can imagine, to go from $26 million to $2 billion in that period of time. So they've they're been a fantastic investment. But the other part is we realised we had a lot of surplus land. And from um, the early 2000s, we started turning that land into industrial property trust with Goodman. Goodman have been great partners. Um, they've been fabulous to work with. And effectively all we do is put in our raw land and we end up with a 50% market share or, or shareholding in uh, industrial sheds. Now, that has grown to almost $2 billion as well. Um, our share of that is uh, well in excess of $600 million. Um, but what's really exciting about that going forward is that if you looked over the last... 20, 30 years, they used to talk about cross-docking and sheds as all a single level, semi-trailers in this side, semi-trailers out that side. But today, that's not the way these sheds are. These sheds are like 10 or 12 football fields in size. They're 10 storeys high, and they've got some sort of automation in there, so there's a pick and pack operation. Semi-trailers come in this side, and delivery vans go out the other side to, to, to you know, householders. So this is a completely different value proposition. And so I think what we're going to see going forward is the buildings we're building are going to have much higher value than maybe 10 times the value of the sheds that we've been building for the last 15 years. So I think this is just a great opportunity for the company going forward. 
And now to dividends. Brickworks has got one of the strongest track records of consistently paying dividends or maintaining them since 1976. So what's in the secret sauce? Yeah, look, it's very interesting. You know, it comes right, you know, from the board and our shareholders. We've got very stable shareholders, stable board, stable management. We know what we're doing. and We understand that it's as much about growing the asset base as it is about this year's or this month's profit. So we invest for the long term. We don't make short term decisions. Now, what that's resulted in is 75% of our assets are investments. They pay the dividend. We haven't reduced the dividend uh, since 1975, and that was the only time in the whole period that the company's been listed that the dividend was ever reduced. It's either stayed steady or has gone up. So Brickworks is one of less than 10 companies on the ASX that can be proud of that. Um, so what it also means is that all our earnings from our building products can be used to be reinvested to grow the business because our dividend is covered, no matter how the economy is going, is covered from our investments. So it's very reliable, very dependable. And just lastly, before we let you go, Lindsay, what would you say is your 60 second elevator pitch when it comes to why investing in Brickworks? Well, I think of retirees that want to be able to buy a share and know that the dividend is going to come in every year. That guaranteed income is something that's so important to so many people. And if it's got a good chance of increasing, even better. And if the share uh, over time increases, well, even better again. Um, and that's why it's just such a fabulous stock for, for people that are in that uh, point of time in their life. Well, Lindsay Partridge, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Jessica. And thank you for watching. For more information about Brickworks, head to Bell Direct's website or contact your advisor.